Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Farmer. And I'm Matt Still. After those storms we got here in the metro area Sunday night, a lot of you have spent today having to clean up debris and a lot of damage. For sure. KLBK's Landry Sinna spent some time out seeing the aftermath today and she joins us live now on 40th Street where some houses took quite the hit. Landry, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, well, Matt and Terry, you know what? Actually, what I'm standing in front of right now is quite the improvement from what was here earlier. As you can see, there's a lot of trees, a lot of debris, and all these branches laying around. But when I tell you that is, like I said, the improvement, I, I definitely mean it. Um, over here on this driveway earlier, all of this, this massive tree was just covered and buried this driveway. There's a car up there in front of that truck that was completely buried. The residents couldn't even get through to it, and their front door step over there also was pretty inaccessible. So I'm glad to see that it definitely is picked up and at least where the residents can get to their front door. And I know there's going to be crews across Lubbock and with Lubbock Power and Light that are ready to take on um, whatever this week has left in store for us for the next few days. I came home to a nightmare because I went to pull up in my drive and all I could see is this big old tree laying in front of my yard. If we want to get out, we have to go through the back and go down the alley and come around and get to the trunk. Around 5.30 Sunday evening, residents near Clapp Park had quite the surprise. Some intense winds along with lightning caused issues across the hub city. Lightning struck equipment throughout the city, uh, struck our equipment kind of in vital places. And so crews really, once the storm passed through, crews immediately were in the field. Initially, we had right about 4,300 customers that were out of power. Um, when you break that down, we were able to get about 1,500 customers restored within the hour. Another 1,000 customers or so were restored within about two hours. On top of those outages, 12 poles were broken and eight large transformers went down. Monday, workers with the city spent time picking up branches and sawing trees just to get the debris out of the way. It looked like a small tornado. <laughs> I mean, it really did. Uh, there's a lot of damage throughout all of, of Clout Park uh, and some of the surrounding neighborhood. We will be here until it's safe enough for the people to enjoy the park. Now many are left to pick up the pieces. We just wish for a miracle. That's all I can do. This weekend storm was the first big destructive storm that we have seen uh, in, in several months. Now, LPNL tells me they are ready, like they said, for any further storms or any further damage, but they need to monitor their system and their equipment over the next few weeks just to make sure everything is running smoothly. And as for these residents around me on 40th Street, any and all help is appreciated during this cleanup process. For now, though, live from 40th Street, Landry Senna, Matt Terry, back to you in the studio.